Hi, it's your favourite Yorks demo here. This is Suzanne at hullabaloo.com and today I thought I would share a recent card swap that members of the team I'm part of um, did to celebrate the launch of the annual catalogue. So we, in groups, would make multiples of the same card and issue them around one another so that then we get one of each of the group's swaps. And as you can see, I've received a gorgeous set of cards here, all using different areas of the catalogue. So I thought I would go through each one of them so that you can see the products that we used and get some crafty inspiration yourself as well. So we'll start with this gorgeous one first. So if I bring that up to the camera, it may pick out some of the detail that's on the front here. So if I carefully put my hand here, you can see that this is a piece of vellum that has been embossed first, then coloured, then Winker Stellard, jewels, then it's got um, a piece of card underneath it that's also been um, Winker Stellard with the looks of it, um, and then a little hello tag at the bottom. And this is from Zoe within my team um it's gorgeous so what did she use yes we've got um the water painters to paint the front of here there is wink of stella all the in colors so polished pink fresh freesia pale papaya that'll be soft succulent um and the meadow dyes are for the tag the art in bloom bundle so if i go to the catalog into the Art in Bloom bundle, um, which is on page 116. So this is the Art in Bloom bundle here. And as you can see, you get 10% bundled saving if you put the stamp set and the dies together. But the dies aren't just dies, they're dies and an embossing folder. So what Zoe has done here is embossed it with the folder first, and then she's coloured in on top of that. But what you can do with that embossing folder is you can then inlay the dies and it cuts these three flowers out. So you can see there's a picture up here, which I'll just bring a bit closer. Gives you a, an insert of the embossing folder with the dies inside and you can do both in one roll of the of the die machine. Um, so that's... Um, £49.50 to get the embossing folder, all those dies and the photopolymer stamp set. Which is absolutely gorgeous. It may fall into my next order just from how gorgeous that card is there. Beautiful. So thank you Zoe. Um, so we'll move on to the next one. So this one is from Alison. So I can tell you straight away what these are because I've already got these. So these are the um, pretty perennials, are they called? Um, and this paper I used in a video um, that's upcoming on my blog. Um, this is from the Pattern Party. So this paper is one sheet available as part of a hostess reward. So if we look at the back of the catalogue here, here is the paper, so it's pattern party 12 by 12 and um, it's worth £29 because of the size of the pack. It is 48 sheets, all double sided, four of each design and as you can see you get a mixture of coloured patterns and your black and white um, and that's what Alison has used here, um, one of the black and white pieces. You will see what I do with that in a video coming soon. But then on the top here, there's the pretty perennial dies. So let me just find those. Or is it these, the pierced bloom? It's pierced blooms, they're there. So these um, coordinated with a celebration packet of paper back in the earlier part of this year. And I was delighted when the blooms then carried over into this one because they are gorgeous. So the pierced blooms and she's used the ink colours here so the soft succulent peeking out from under the paper evening evergreen on the branches here then we've got 
um, polished pink, fresh freesia, pale papaya and all absolutely gorgeous and then this stamp set is also a new one so this is called Biggest Wish um, and I have Biggest Wish here so she's used the Hello and the Friend to stamp onto the front as well again really really good so thank you very much Alison so Alison is known as Latelia at Alison um, so you'll find her on Instagram uh, and on Facebook so please go and give her uh, a visit there so moving on this next one now when the catalogue first came out I will be honest probably to the shock of everyone out there but the peaches didn't grab my attention so I didn't buy any of the bundle and um, so it's sweet as a peach bundle and um, but then these didn't either which is the give it a whirl dies so as you can see there you can make a spinny card which I remember books having these when I was little it's an absolutely gorgeous card rhinestones on there layered up peaches sentiments the whirl itself embossed dots and then you get the smallest peak of paper here all absolutely beautiful so if I show you this this is the page 61 in the annual catalogue so if we move on to 61 so here we are what i did get from this suite was these little jars but i may have to get the rest of it now so for 53 pounds you get the photopolymer stamp set which is here so that's 20 stamps you get all the dies um so the peach dies that cut out as you can see various shapes within the stamp set itself you get the mini jam jars which are the ones i've already got so they are eight pounds 25 on their own um and i think you get i want to say eight or ten um and then you get the 12 by 12 paper which you don't really see much of on here um but you get um that as well so if i go to the back you might be able to show you a quick snippet of it if i can find the right page yeah, there it is so there's the paper 12 by 12 um if i bring that in a bit closer it's lovely paper i am loving the blue that's in there which is balmy blue so yeah beautiful um and that is from natalie so natalie is crafty honey pots dot blogspot dot com but the honey is spelled like winnie the pooh honey so it's crafty honey which is h-u-n-n-y pots dot blogspot dot com gorgeous so thank you very much natalie so next we've got leah um leah is using one of my favorite stamp sets at the moment here which is peekaboo farm so here's peekaboo farm 15 photopolymer stamps as you can see all the different little animals there that you can colour in and make peek over the wall there so Leah's used the little ram very cute this is another piece of the paper from Pattern Party as you can see there and again there's the biggest wish stamp set being used but this time one of those chunky fonts has made a made an appearance on the card gorgeous um, and Leah is Pickle Crafts so you can find her on Facebook as well. So go give her a visit and some kudos for her card. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, so cute. And I forgot to point out, look at the blends colouring of this old stone wall there. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now this one has come from my own upline. So this one's from Sam. Many of you may know her as Pootles. So pootles.co.uk. Um or Poodles Papercraft as she is over on Instagram. Um, this is polished pink cardstock, I believe. It is. So polished pink. This is a die set that I haven't purchased yet either. Um, and again, I think the girls here have drawn me in, enabled me, as we, we call it. And let me just find it in the catalogue for you. But it's one of the new sets for this year. It does coordinate. 
there we go so there is the bundle on the bundles page and we can find it on page 19 so it's part of the sending hugs so if we go to page 19 there it is so that you get a giant stamp that can coordinate with that die that sam's used here and um, that is 20 pounds for the stamp set it's 11 cling stamps and that is showing at full size i believe so it's quite a large stamp if you look at it compared to my fingers but then 10 percent bundle underneath here and you can get the stamp set with the dies and there's the die that you can see featured on this card here and they are £41.25 but that's with 10% off that um, normally that would have been much more I think £46 um, but then under there Sam has used and you can just see it peeking but it's some of the paper from the cover photo so this is the artistically um art something artistic what's it called exceptionally artistic artistic expressions in ink some like that. yeah so it's expressions in ink sweet but it's part of the artistic bundle within it so where's that sweet the sweet is on page 96 so let's just find that because it's a gorgeous sweet so here we go it's expressions in ink and it's beautiful. I've got lots of this. In fact, I've got all of this. I bought it as a sweet bundle. So you get the stamp set here, which I can show you up close once I've worked out where I've put it on my shelf. Here it is. So artistically inked. These stamps look absolutely beautiful on a card. I've got a card upcoming. I think it's this week with these stamps and the ephemera that you can see here at the top so in the bundle for 70 pounds you get the cling stamp set there you get the dies that go with it and um, the dies are beautiful um, you get the paper which is absolutely gorgeous paper but it's also specialty as you can see from sam's card you can see that that foil coming through and you get the ephemera pack now, I do have the ephemera pack to hand, um, so I'll just quickly show you this. But this is lots of little pop-outs in gold, ready for you to put on your cards. And I've used quite a bit of that already, and it also comes with some sequins. So you get all of that in the suite, or as before, you can do the 10% bundle, which is just the stamps and the dies gorgeous 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 and makes this card just stand out just peeking underneath there so subtle but lovely thank you very much sam and that brings you on to mine so you will see this in the coming weeks i've got a dedicated blog post to this card so you'll be getting a bit of a sneak peek now but this is using the stella birthday so stella birthday is here so my youngest son, absolutely crazy about space stuff. This immediately stuck out to us both because we knew that we'd be able to sit colouring these in all day and I could make birthday invitations or um, birthday cards with it. But not only that, not only did I get a little boy, got a little girl and I got a dog. Suitable for all. And um, I wanted to really show the set off. Um, there isn't really anything in the catalogue at the moment that's, you know, the right colour for a space background in terms of design series paper. So I've embossed mine using the stars that are in this set. So a Knight of Navy card, white embossing powder, Versamark, and then I've used some blends just to colour in both of the little, the little rocket and my little space man. This trim is from the simply elegant sweet and then we've got a couple of rhinestones just to add like a little twinkle as you move the card around so that one is mine so a great set of cards there from from my group absolutely beautiful cards and um i hope you've taken some inspiration from that 
I will be popping all of these cards on my blog. So I will link each person that has sent their card on to me. Um, and I'll see if I can add their products in underneath. So if you are interested, um, you can go over and one, pay them some inspiration and some, give them some positive comments about their cards. Or you can then go onto the online store and purchase these goodies for yourself. I think I'll be purchasing these. Look at that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today. Feel free to please give me a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe. If you're watching this on my blog, please pop over and give me a follow. Um, and you can find me over on Facebook as well. And I hope to speak to you all again very soon. Bye bye.